Hello YouTube, I'm APC, and this is the fifth and last Sprite tutorial. It's a continuation of the Catch Clown series. If you do not know what the Catch Clown tutorial is, then you need to refer to the Catch Clown tutorial in order to understand what's happening here. What I have here is a maze game, which I made from the Mark Overmars maze game tutorial, and I'm using it as an example of what we're going to do today. Right there you see the human. When I move to the right, he changes sprites, and there's an individual sprite for each direction that he goes. This adds a lot higher quality to the game, and really isn't that hard. So, open up the Sprite 4. Make sure it's in advanced mode, and you do not need Pro for this. First things first. Duplicate your human sprite. Call this other one SBR Human B. And then the other one, SBR Human F. The F stands for front, because you've seen it from the front view. So, f f to, to show the back of the human, we're just simply going to take the eyes out. Select the eyes and press delete. And then fill it in with whatever color it was replacing. If you had any shading there, you'd need to replace that as well. Reach out the lines, maybe. Let's just create a new sprite. SPR human R. Since this will be moving to the right. Add a sub image. Resize it. Since our human is going to be wider than it is thin, we're going to make its width thinner than it would be if you were looking at it from the front or back, because from the side it's going to be thinner. So make exactly half of what it would have been. For the left select red and for the right select your blue color. What is important for these different directional threads is you need to make sure that the proportions are the same. Now let's go back to one of our other human sprites. Let's count how tall the head is because the proportions that remain the same be the vertical proportions so the the heights of the body and the head. So just count how tall your head is. My head's 15 pixels tall and you just remember however tall your head is but it just happens that mine is 15 pixels. Let's see my body is about I'm just gonna count from the halfway point because like it's gonna be harder to count along where the head is because it overlaps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that times 2 means the body is about 22 tall. Go back to the human R. To make the body first. So I'll, I'll need to count 10 down in order to make sure it's 22 because 32 minus 10 is 22. So select like your circle tool and make sure it's on the right setting. And draw a circle. Simple as that. There's your body. Like I said earlier, it's only the vertical proportions that matter. So you don't really need to worry about how wide it is here as long as it's the same height as it was from the other one. In my case, it's 15. I'm just going to count, let's say, 3 from the side and draw it. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, then 3 out the side. There we go. Now let's draw one eye. In order to do that, I'm just going to copy the colors from the other humans. So get the color you had for your eye and also the proportions. Like Again, the vertical proportions are the ones that are important. With me, it's three down from the top of the head. And I can see there's three white dots between the red ones. Out. Three down. Something like that. And fill it in white. And the black dot right there. That's f that's all for the right sprite. sprite. Now duplicate that. Now let's create the left sprite, which is only a mirror image. So click transform, mirror flip. 
check whether it's going the right direction, everything looks okay. And that needs to say L. That's all for the human animation. There's one more thing we're gonna do. This SPR flag. Rename it SPR portal. Since all this is the ending of the level, so and I just decided halfway through to change it to portal on a flag. So in your sprite, first of all, delete everything. Then select your black color, then your circle tool. Just make a little oval. It's not very important, the exacts of it, like what's the human, but for this it's not very important. And then make a little curve line down there. Copy the curve line, control C. It transform me or flip and drag your copied thing down to the corner again. Then draw a line. There, it's a pretty simple portal right there. Now let's make the base of it gray. Let's like the gray color. Put it in there. And I want to make the actual portal of it yellowish. You ever seen a hypnosis thing where kind of see the circles become bigger? That's the kind of the idea I'm trying to get here. It's like the brightest color of yellow you can. Fill it in. Now let's somewhat dimmen it by putting 200 in for the red and green values. Now let's count 1, 2, 3. Let's count 5 from the co corner. Draw another circle. Um, and count 5 from the other corner. 2, 3, 4, 5. There you go. I fill a little circle and you made there. Now let's make it just one step darker. And this time count, let's say eight. That's eight. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. There's the inner circle. Duplicate that. Now the center is going to change to the this lighter color, so we can't just fill it in directly. We've got to first use a color that we're not using at all to make sure that they don't mesh together. You'll understand what I mean if you ever did this wrong. So give this a color that you're not using. In this case, our right color we're not using. And fill this other circle. In this case, I want it to be the darker color. And I, and I have now that selected right now. And this needs to be the other color we had. And that was with values 200, 200. It's important to keep those numbers in your head. Put that in there. And this outer one also needs to be the same color. Duplicate that. Now the center one needs to become the lightest color we had. 250, uh, 255. 255. Like that. And this middle one needs to become that semi-color. But again, that's the same as this outer one, so let's fill in the outer one to make sure you don't lose any shapes. And for this, let's put in our semi-color, which is 200. 200. Put it in like that. And then put our darker color in for the outside. 150, 150. The center one needs to become the middle color in order to make sure that we don't mess anything up. Fill in the middle one in. And so put make the left one your middle color, and fill that in. That happens to be the one we're gonna be have for this outside layer. So just put it in there. Then make that lighter one. That looks a little crazy. Let's slow it down. There. That's the portal. Again, this is the last sprite tutorial. If you want to learn more about spriting or and stuff like that, I suggest you go into more advanced programs such as paint.net or photoshop and I may or may not be making tutorials about that stuff in the future I'm not sure but as for Sprite and Game Maker this is it I'll put some users that do Sprite tutorials in the description and you can just go to their channel and see what they've got thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe if you have any questions you can PM my YouTube channel you can register on our forums in CC, or you can email me at the email address that's found on my channel. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next tutorial.